All right, welcome back to another uh, web development video where I show you how to make modern websites using HTML5 and CSS3 and a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, today we're going to look at how to make a center logo uh, masthead. So you've seen it before where there's a center logo and then there are links on the left and the right. That's kind of a new, a little bit of a, a retro actually sort of style. Uh, it works really well with uh, retro logos and um, kind of hipster logo type things. So let's say you have maybe uh, four or so lo um, links and you don't want to just do the boring you know left logo right links you want to switch it up a little bit and change it. Um, so I will show you how to do that using CSS Flexbox. So the first thing that we need is a header element and we're going to call that masthead and then inside that we're going to put something called masthead inner and this is what we're going to use in order to um, to do all of our alignment on the inside so all of our flexbox alignment and then inside that we need uh, a menu and we need a logo and we need another menu and we're going to call this one specifically menu one just in case you would want to style uh, each of these menus uh, differently inside our logo we want to put our image so this is our logo uh, div and we want to put our image and I'm getting that image uh, from my code pen and it's one that I uploaded before this is the image for uh, skimmer which is a news app that I created and it's just a, a square logo so it's this size here and it's just got a white background I would think that this works really well with square or circular logos. Uh, anything that's horizontal is going to be more difficult because it's going to, um, once the page starts to get smaller or the viewport gets smaller, you'll see how it uh, how it squishes together, and it just seems to work better if you're using uh, a logo that's more vertical in uh, oriented than horizontally oriented. Uh, so just a little something to remember. And uh, let's go ahead and make these both uh, on ordered list elements. And then we're going to go down and we're going to create uh, just a couple of list items. So this will be item one. This will be item two. Item three. Item four. And then we're going to make each of these. Uh, into an anchor link. So inside of these we'll say ahref equals uh, we'll just put a kind of a generic link in there. We could say item 1, item 2, uh, whatever we wanted to do with these links. If you wanted to go into pages or if you want them to just be um, anchor links that go down the page. All right, so we have our basic structure here. So we have one menu, we have a logo, and then we have another menu. Um, we could rearrange this and then just visually reorder in Flexbox if we wanted to. Uh, that's a choice that I'll let you make and uh, actually I'll show you how to do that uh, when we, if I remember when we get to the end. So what we need to do is we need to do some things to our menu elements. So let's first come in here and we'll say menu uh, list style number one we don't want the bullet points so we say list style none and we can also get rid of the padding and I know from experience we should get rid of the margin too so let's just go ahead and do that uh, right now uh, we also want them to display flex and this is going to put them side by side uh, with one another instead of vertically oriented uh, they're normally display block so we want to make them display flex and I am going to make them justified to the center. Um, this will make a little bit more sense when we see it all together. And that's all we'll do with that for now. Uh, now we need to make sure that we do everything uh, display flex. So we're going to actually put our uh, flex on the masthead inner. And so we'll call that display flex as well. And now all of our elements should be lined up uh, with one another. And I'm going to justify 
content uh, space between which means that we have one element to the far left one to the far right and then everything else is spaced out uh, evenly in between so you see that it moves um, everything moves evenly and it stays uh, kind of stuck to the right and the left hand parts of the page uh, this is way too big so I'm just going to come in to my logo and do the image width to be something like 100 pixels uh, it would be fine and you can see that everything's not lining up vertically here and the way we change that is we go to our masthead inner and we say align items to the center now should uh, vertically center everything so when our uh, axis is along the X then align center will align everything vertically so All right. oh there you can see uh, you can see the size of our logo there um, let me refresh that to get that line off okay so we have everything uh, set up like we want to now we need to figure out some spacing here uh, right now it's just kind of uh, figuring all the spacing out on the fly, but we can actually change that. Uh, we can do a couple things. So let's go to our menus. Uh, remember, each menu is over here. Let me actually show you what that looks like. Um, so this is our full element. This is our logo uh, image. Okay. So there's the logo and how much space it takes up. Here is. Let's see if we can get to it. It's harder to get to now. So here is one menu element, and then here is the other menu element. So you see that it's um <coughs> that they're not taking up very much space. And what we want them to do is take up a, a predetermined length of space. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this flex, and then let's just say uh, zero and one, and then if we just do auto, uh, then that sets everything back to what it normally is. So this is the uh, default. But if we if we set them to take up 30 uh, viewport widths, now they take up uh, at least 30 viewport widths. So if we look back at it, you can see now that it's taking up uh, more space, even though those elements are centered in the middle of it they're taking up more space and now our logo uh, is not taking up a predetermined amount of space it's just itself it's as wide as it is so if we say flex 0 1 uh, what do we have so we have two menus times 30 is 60 so we have 40 viewport widths left uh, the logo is not centered so we can say text align center and then that should center it back in there and whenever we click on this we can see that the logo div is taking up uh, 40 viewport widths so it's essentially like saying 40 percent but the, it's based not on the container it's based on the width of the viewport but it's equivalent to 40 percent of however much the viewport width is and so we have a menu taken up this much we have a logo taken up this much and then we have the other menu taking up this much so they're kind of predetermined in how much space they're taking up on the screen now this looks really bad so we can do a couple of things uh, we can make sure that each um, instead of using justify content we can say something like space around and then it will put an equal amount of space around each of these items so it takes up this much of the viewport uh, width and it puts an equal amount of space around each of these so it doesn't put it butted up against the uh, the side so this this might be enough for your needs you might want to say uh, flex end and get them a little bit closer uh, to everything so that would get this closer but not to this one so if we come in and we say nothing then it's flex start 
okay and so all we need to do is we need to get this one over here a little bit closer so we would say menu uh, one <clears throat> and then justify content flex end and then that moves it over to the right as far as it can go and then we need to just create a little bit of space here uh, with each of our um, menu list items so then we just come in here to our menu list item and we say a margin of zero on top and bottom one right and left and all of a sudden you have some space and then that stays everything centered uh, but it keeps a couple of items on the left a couple of items on the right and it gives you space in here now we can also manipulate the logo and so instead of saying uh, 40 viewport widths we could say auto and then that's gonna probably pull everything in a little bit more we get rid of that okay um, if everything is auto then you see how it, it changes everything to take up uh, quite a bit of space um, so if we just go back to where it was and then we just manipulate this number to be a little bit smaller then it still doesn't change anything because we're not changing anything in relation so now it's just taking up less of the viewport width but these over here are not filling in the space there's going to be a, a 20 viewport width space on each side so instead of zero one we could say one zero and then now those fill in that space Okay, so the difference between uh, 1, 0 and 0, 1, <clears throat> so this is flex grow, and this is flex shrink, and then this is how much space uh, the item takes up in the container, in the flex container. So it says take up as much space as you need to take, uh, but the least amount of space will be 30 viewport widths. Uh, this one says uh, don't don't grow at all in fact you should shrink as much as you need to shrink to accommodate everything uh, but make sure you take up at least 20 viewport widths so flex grow and flex shrink are a little bit uh, challenging at the beginning but once you understand that uh, flex shrink is going to make it go down to its smallest size and flex grow is going to allow it to grow as big as it needs to be um, and make sure it takes up at least this much space uh, but it can also take up more okay so that's uh, the flex shorthand so now this is taking up 20 viewport widths doesn't matter um, how big we grow it so you can see the space is, is growing a little bit and shrinking a little bit that it's taking up because it's taking up from here all the way to here and then each of these items is taking up all the space that it needs to so that is actually uh, growing as well it's taking up as much as it needs to so now we have a nice little uh, even down to mobile so at this size you know you're gonna have to do something else like a hamburger menu or uh, maybe a little menu button or you know figure something out at a very small size but essentially we have a nice little centered uh, aligned flex box element and uh, it keeps your um, it keeps your logo nice and centered it gives you the option to set off a few um, links on the sides this is really good as long as you have the symmetry of a couple of different links uh, if you wanted to try to squeeze in three links uh, it might be a little bit more difficult uh, three links on each side <clears throat> you're just gonna run into a problem where about right here you're gonna need to start making some choices on the mobile side about what to do as far as a menu uh, because these are going to start shrinking up if you see let me just show you so right here you're going to start to get to the place where you're getting up some changes you see that so uh, the more items you put on each side uh, the faster you're going to have to get to setting some sort of mobile style uh, with a some sort of menu system uh, with a mobile menu where you click it and it opens a new uh, it either slides in or slides down or uh, does something to create a mobile menu alright so that is how to create a center logo 
uh, using CSS Flexbox. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's a little tricky here figuring out the math, but once you play with it a little bit, I think you'll be able to see um, that it's actually a, a lot easier than it used to be uh, using floats and absolute positioning and things like that. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll be happy to get to them uh, as fast as I can. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribed uh, to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and um, you'll get more web development videos like this. Each week I try to produce at least one or two and uh, if you have any suggestions leave those in the comments too. Uh, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.